I've come to Scotland to visit a business that's making great use of non-recyclable plastic waste that otherwise would have ended up being incinerated or sent to landfill. Toby, great to meet Lovely you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks for having us here in Scotland. Thanks for being here. You have come up with a very clever use for non-recyclable waste plastic and we're standing right on it. Tell we me are. more about it. Yes, we are on a plastic road as we call it. So um, part of the, uh, the bitumen, the black oily stuff has been replaced with waste polymers. These are polymers that are destined for landfill or incineration. How did you come up with this idea? Oh, well, it all started really from a, an idea that I saw in India where they were taking old rubbish, sticking it into potholes, pouring diesel over it, lighting it, and it was all melting down in the potholes. Um, and uh, my, my little girl had said to me, why don't we use our waste plastics from home in the potholes? And that's where it all started. I started in my garage, cutting up bits of plastic, sending it down to a lab to, to form what we have here today. And what are the environmental benefits of this kind of road versus a traditional asphalt road? We, are, we only use waste plastics. So they're plastics that are destined for landfill or for incineration. We take those plastics that nobody else can use, we process them, and then we use them to enhance the road. So the roads will last longer with the plastics in them. So that it's, it's, it's two pronged really. It's the waste plastics that we're using up, but it's also the enhancement of the roads that we have to drive on today. Could you show me a little bit more about how this process works? I would love to. Okay. We're here in your very impressive facility. Tell me a little bit more about the process. So what we do is we take those waste plastics, we bale them up, and then in this machine over here, we process those plastics. They're then formed into tiny chips. So within this mix here, you can see all sorts of different plastic here. So there's um, bits of old uh, plastic bottle tops mm. and, um, and bags and, and you name it. God knows what that was. But, all um, kinds of things in here. Yeah, so it's the polymers that go in to make the plastics that are really important to us. So the mix is made up via various forms of different plastics that contain different polymers to make up the mix. So there might be 20 different bits of plastic within that mix. So far, roads using McReber's material have been built in nine territories. And due to the flexible properties, it can help eradicate potholes, offering potential financial relief to both motorists and authorities. This process is saving motorists billions when it comes to the issue of potholes, isn't it? It is, yes. It's uh, saving billions in maintenance of those roads, saving billions in the maintenance of our vehicles that we drive over those potholes. Um, and of course, we're saving the local authorities a huge amount of money because we're using up their old rubbish that they have no, no destination for. If we stop using plastics in favor of other materials, what does that mean for your business model? Well, I, I wish we would stop using, the, certainly the one-time use plastics. Um, what it means for our business model is, unfortunately for the world, there is enough plastic in the world. If we were to stop production today, for us to pave all the roads in the world, still with the waste that's out there in the waste stream.